Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you about generalizability in research. So generalizability is the degree to which the results of a study can be applied to the general population. So whenever you read a study, the question you really should have is, does this apply in my situation? Or does this apply to the thing that I'm trying to understand better? Um, so that is generalizability. What you're really asking is, is this study generalizable to my situation? Uh, so the more generalizable a study is, the more people and situations the results may apply to. Uh, so if you are trying to find information about your situation, maybe you're a healthcare practitioner and you are looking for answers to help you treat a patient or uh, whatever it might be, you need to determine the generalizable generalizability of the study to decide whether you can apply the results of that study to your situation. Generally speaking, the larger, more diverse, and more randomized the sample of the study, the more generalizable the study will be. So the results of a study are only generalizable to the group that was studied. Okay, so the more diverse the group is that's studied, the more people in the general population we could say that those results could apply to. Okay, so when we're trying to decide if a study is generalizable or how generalizable is it, there are some questions that we should ask ourselves. So first, what population of people was studied? So what are their demographics? Was the study only done on men or only on women? Um, where is it only on a certain race of people, um, people with a certain health condition? Like, let's say it's a study done on men with testicular cancer. Okay, we that study would not be generalizable to a study on women with breast cancer. So although uh, the variables might be similar or the answers that you're looking for might be there, if you are looking for help with breast cancer, finding help with testicular cancer is not going to help. It's not generalizable to your situation. Uh, you also need to look at what variables were studied. Is the study examining the same variables that are relevant in your situation? And are there any variables in your situation that weren't addressed in the study? Okay, so maybe you're taking a certain medication to treat a condition. Well, if that medication isn't mentioned in the study that you're looking at for some other thing that you're hoping will help with your condition, then the results of that study might not apply to you because it doesn't factor in all the same variables that you need to consider. Another consideration is how large was the sample size? So the more participants in the study, usually the more we can trust that those results will be generalizable to the types of participants who were included in the study. So think about like a study that is performed with 10 people versus a study performed with 1,000 people. Well, we can trust much more that the study on 1,000 people, the results will apply to the people that are represented there much more than the study done on 10 people because we can't really expect that the experience of 10 people will necessarily be representative of that whole population. Um, also, look at things like how many institutions participate and not only individuals. So like maybe it's a study where they're looking at students or teachers or hospitals, healthcare workers. Well, how many different institutions were involved? If the whole study is only looking at one hospital, that results are not going to be generalizable to all hospitals because we only looked at one. Um, even if we looked at three hospitals, but they're all in the same region, it's going to be generalizable to hospitals within that region, not to hospitals throughout the entire country. Okay, so that goes on to how was the sample taken? Were all the participants from the same school or from multiple schools? Were they all from the same geographical region or spread out over multiple regions? And then finally, were the data quantitative or qualitative? Uh, so there's a lot of debate about uh, whether qualitative studies are actually generalizable at all. Um, so there's there's debate. We could make an argument in either direction to say that qualitative studies can be generalizable under certain conditions. And we could also make an argument that they can't really ever be generalizable. 
Uh, so quantitative studies result in statistics. We look at larger number of people, generally speaking, in quantitative research. We're usually looking at a larger sample size and we're collecting quantitative numeric data that can be analyzed and uh, expressed statistically. And then we can, uh, we can use those statistics to better understand the broader population. Uh, but in qualitative research, which I quite love, I'm not saying anything bad about qualitative research. I think it's it's very beneficial and very important because it helps us understand the meaning behind some events that take place. Um, but they generally include fewer participants and they don't result in uh, statistical numerical data. Uh, we can't analyze it in quite the same way. And so in qualitative research, we're learning about the lived experiences of people and we're doing interviews and trying to understand a certain phenomenon. Um, and so we can learn a lot through qualitative research, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the experience of these handful of people that we talk to necessarily will reflect the experience of that whole population um, within the, the general population. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.